It was an all-familiar script. Politicians talking of unity in front of cameras, even as the infighting dominated proceedings behind closed doors. Barely 24 hours after the Oversight Committee on the implementation of the Constitution elected Bandera Central MP Abdelkader Mohamed as chairman and nominated MP Milio Diambo as vice chair, it is imagined that ODM had actually boycotted the late evening election of the committee's leadership. I am aware that the clerk went ahead to call another meeting for 6.30. If you, if you follow the standing orders, that meeting was not constituted in a procedural way, manner. The Guasi MP is a trusted member of the ODM brigade in the oversight committee, insists that the party will reject the current leadership lineup. I can't remember at any time in the uh, tradition of this house that we uh, ever conducted election for the chairmanship of such a critical committee by uh, minority. Minority, I mean 10 out of 27, to me doesn't uh, qualify for an election. ODM wanted Budalangi legislator and party parliamentary secretary Ababu Namwamba to take over the leadership of the oversight committee. Namwamba had been Abdi Kadir's deputy at the parliamentary select committee and the two worked hand in hand to help deliver the new constitution. However, PNU MPs in the Oversight Committee insist the election of the committee's leadership followed parliamentary procedure and still stands. Even the speaker uh, came. We looked at the starting orders. We were properly constituted. We had a quorum. And so we had no, no alternative but to conduct uh, the election. Justice Minister Mutula Kilonza has warned that unless the committee settles down to work immediately, the implementation of the new constitution could be seriously affected. My feeling is that if we go this way, we are just going to fail. The die on the issue of the committee's leadership appears to have been cast, as the Wednesday election was witnessed by the Speaker of the National Assembly, Kenneth Marende, and the Clerk of the National Assembly, Patrick Gishohe. And we'll be, keep you posted on progress. Thank you very much. However, the newly elected chairman of the Oversight Committee, Abdi Kadir Mohamed, has said that he will consult widely as he seeks to rebuild the unity and trust within the Oversight Committee. Abdi Osman, Citizen Live at Nine.